Welcome to the uh, the session, guys. I hope uh, you guys have been well. Today is very interesting uh, area to uh, reflect on and very important. Uh, whenever you would want to talk about change management, you would definitely want to think about if there is any agency which can help you, any support, any agent that can help you. That is essentially the topic of today's discussion. So, change agent. Uh, um is the topic change agents um start thinking about it so uh whenever you will be in any change situation you would need some type of help some type of support and this help and support whatever you would you would you would gather from the organization or from the people or from the processes you can call them change agents they are your agents in supporting you to bring the change that is that is what, what it is so the change agent why 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 do we need them uh, because it will be hard to do it on our own even if it is individual change um, self management something like that if we can gather some type of agency from our friends family support group that can help us uh, because change is is not going to be a straight path it will be up and down uh, sometimes our motivation for change would be higher our morale would be higher we are in high spirit so uh, at that time we are we are maybe uh, maybe thinking good things about change and on the other hand when things will not go the way we want we will not get the support from the people then our morale and motivation will be down just like in anything in life so, so so in those times if you have that type of agency agents support group that helps you so that is essentially the purpose of having agents or um, or or if someone asks why do we why do we need change agents something along these lines you can think about uh, but it is not just people it is it can be other things also it can be some processes which helps the agency also so reflect in a broader term on this so if you have if you have change agents they will help you support in in terms of supporting the change what are some of the other uh, characteristics qualities which which a change agent should have what are some of the qualities characteristics features of a good agent if someone asks you um, think about that uh, any type of support what what type of characteristics you would look look in them for example you can uh, you can think about try to link it with yesterday's uh, conversation discussion which we were trying to have um, um, as i am reflecting uh, i can think about purpose we were talking about purpose yesterday a uh, purpose why to change why should we change what is the reason for change we were talking about for example buy in so your customers clients uh, overall organization uh, things you studied in you know organizational structure and so on they would uh, they would have to buy in that uh, this is something which really needs to be done uh, the the reason of why uh, the purpose they need to be on board uh, for example other things like the shared values yeah so for their target the target of agent change agent and your target is is same uh, you guys want such the same uh, same objective same result and that the agent is supporting you in bringing it because they see that they see something uh, in the change for themselves also it can be some it can be some it can be some uh, it can be some uh, some monetary value or it can be some it can be some monetary value or it can be some uh, some recognition some praise or just the comfort of bringing the change making someone's life better or improved uh, those type of those type of things you can you can think about so so purpose um buy in or buy in uh but what would be the other qualities like you know persistence they have to be persistent because change is going to you know test them uh they should be able to motivate other people uh 
they should be trustworthy for example what else can you guys give if some if some uh, uh, pointers or or something something like that anything what would be some of the qualities in a in a change in a change agent person who is supporting you change uh, same vision same uh, same outlook uh, maybe respect respect from the respect from the uh, from the people from the community from the uh, from the cohort in which they are working if people respect you then they they listen to you uh, uh, santa is saying honest honesty yeah? honesty uh, very important because if people can see if you are honest or or not you can feel right now if if the way i am speaking do you feel that i am uh, honest in my delivery or dishonest you can feel it uh, so if people feel that you are not honest with them then they don't trust you if they don't trust you then why they will support you or why they will think that the change you are asking them to help in uh, they should do it uh, they are not going to do that most likely they will only do it if they have to do it because of your power or influence or uh, or fear then they will support you otherwise the good change agency is not going to come unless people really think that you are honest reliable reliability yes you it's, it's about delivering so you say something and then you don't do it people are not going to uh, uh, like it uh, flexibility yes good point uh, anila very interesting point flexibility because uh, let's think about it why would they need flexibility uh, because the objective of the change can remain the same but as they are uh, going forward it can be the case that things you do differently than how they decided in the beginning so in the beginning um, they might have some other way of doing it but as they are going through the change uh, maybe uh, they, they they understand that maybe there is some other better way to uh, to excite people to engage them to bring them on board those type of things and that flexibility is very important any person who thinks that he makes some any person who makes a road map and say all right everyone is going to do it like this and this is the final word and they are not open to new ideas as they are going through the change they are going to face a lot of uh, issues most likely because the situation in change is not is not static it is very dynamic and we established that in our earlier conversations that the reason uh, many reasons are there you can think your own reasons but the one reason which is close to my heart is that because people are involved in it so people have emotions people have feelings uh they bring all those things in the in their work uh, knowingly or unknowing unknowingly if you had a bad day then when you are in the in the work it somehow comes in it should not in ideal situation it should not and some people are good in that they can uh, keep distance from their uh, personal private lives and work lives but most like sad if you are sad in your in your private life it is somehow going to come in the in the in the worries also uh, so so you can link it with i think yesterday's conversation um, um, what else yeah these are some of the things you would want to think about uh, in your own life please reflect i think that is important uh, in your own life try to think that whenever you are going through some change uh, were there any change agents which were helping you uh, agent is just like you know a support group you can if agent is not not a good word for you and call it support or anything um, it is essentially it is some someone or some process or something which is helping you in the managing change or going forward so think about uh, any type of change or any activity if you don't want to think about change any activity in which you have some type of support group then it becomes easier like emails we were talking about emails you write email to people um, university people and if they respond it becomes life becomes a little easier so uh, they are uh, they are 
kind of an agency in 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 your in your learning they are giving you some type of support in your learning by doing that on the other hand if simple thing like this is ignored and you take forever to get the reply or something like that then the agency will be slow so if that shows interest people are interested in or not also uh, so the more interested people are the more people have same purpose same goal the more they understand why you are doing whatever you are doing the agency can increase and then the the agents now can help you to uh, make your movements uh, uh, and of course as the as the organization becomes bigger and bigger you really need uh, you really need uh, uh, good good agents uh, who support you not just in change in anything overall uh, business business environment in different departments people who support you who see the things the same as you uh, you do uh, and that you can link it then with the culture of the organization for example if there is a boss who thinks that uh 435 work stop but uh, officially but people should stay a little longer uh, to ensure that everything is complete uh, for the day or whatever and if the boss has that type of mentality and he also he or she also do that then maybe not all workers are going to you know uh, do the same thing because not everyone is uh, equally motivated for different jobs uh, but if they have uh, some key people uh, in the organization who think the same way and they also do the similar type of activity for example staying it kinds of it kinds of helps uh, in uh, in bringing the change which Which the boss wants. So I'm not supporting that someone should stay late or they should leave on time. That is, that is not, that is not, that is not what I'm trying to discuss. I'm just saying anything. It can be anything which boss wants. Anything he wants, any change he want to bring, any type of change. If he has uh, people in the organization who think in the same way and who are willing to speak on his behalf. things become a little bit easier uh, so these are just some techniques which which helps the process or journey of of change management a little easier let's try to link it with uh, with for example you know yesterday if you guys remember we were discussing one model if, if you guys remember it was very simple model three step model step 1 step 2 step 3 so step 1 was um unfreezing to unfreeze you disassociate from the past uh, past habits past way of doing things status quo that was step 1 you guys remember step 2 was uh, uh step 2 was uh, uh um step 2 was accepting the accepting the uh accepting the the change bringing yourself in the change uh, learning the new way of doing things yes and then step 3 was uh, for example uh, refreezing so you establish the new way of uh, new way of uh, doing doing the doing the yes onila and and santana uh, very good uh, very good i'm happy that uh, you guys are uh, studying the models so in the in this simple model try to see how change agent can help so you are in step 1 and you go in step 2 and you learn the new way of doing things but because of some difficulty or some challenge or some cause it is new to you anything new takes time to learn uh, uh simple things like you know a, a b c if i ask you to please tell a b c d e f all the way till z for you guys no problem right now yes but for a For a, for a child maybe they won't be able to do that why because it is it is new for them and they have not done it enough time but you and me have done it enough time so so it is not about what is hard and what is not hard anything anything in life if you do it again and again and again and again and again it becomes easy 
so anything you find difficult for example sometimes friend says that uh, you know uh, maths is hard so how much time you have spent with that that is the question have you spent like you know, uh, 10 hours uh, 10 hundred uh, 10 thousand 10 thousand hours uh, what is 10 thousand please, please run a Sir. yes Anila, please go ahead okay so basically um there's kind of arguing about the refreezing part of Lewin's, um structure because they're saying that because time is changing so quickly they're wondering if there's a refreeze stage anymore because people have to keep being flexible and um being custom to change all the time do you really think that that's true or do you really believe in the refreezing your your voice is very very fresh onila you just woke up from sleeping <laughs> no i was working actually <laughs> okay very good your your voice is very very you know energetic and fresh seems like you just had a good good sleep but good to know that okay so yes that is what what it is uh, but but two things i i was trying to say one was that ten thousand hours please run a google search on this uh, Ten thousand. Uh, what is the benefit of doing something for ten thousand hours yeah ten thousand hours they say you can become expert in anything in life if you do it for 10,000 hours. 10,000 hours. Uh, I think the study was done by Ericsson, and the examples are um, people like Tiger Woods. You can run a run a Google search on uh, Ericsson uh, becoming becoming expert in anything, and then write 10,000 hours. So, become expert in 10,000 hours and then see what comes up and you will see very interesting studies. And there are many other, many other people who have really practiced it. So what I was saying that when we do something new, because we have not practiced it a lot, that is why it is hard for us. It is difficult for us. So these people who are, as, as Onila was explaining us, the, the, the refreezing stage, and linking it with the step two many times what will happen because the thing is new for you you are in step two and you will go back to step one so step one was your maybe old habits so in step two you are trying to learn something new but because it is hard it is challenging you don't see the purpose you will go back to step step one so this back and forth is going to happen so it is not necessary that someone will Will come to uh, come to come to step one, and then come to step two, and then go to step three. No, this is not. It is sometimes it can happen, but you know you can always fall back uh, to, to the initial stage. Uh, just like we were, you know, talking about cigarette smoking, smoking example. So someone is trying to quit, but then because something happened maybe they are depressed or some bad thing happened in life and they go back to smoking more yes so in those times when people are going to fall back to their previous earlier habits these change agents can play a very big role this is one point i was trying to uh, make and please read this into into chat yes uh, santana is absolutely correct so i said 10 of uh, 10 000 hours it is not 10,000 hours. It is 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. What is deliberate practice? Every time you are to do something and then you evaluate it to see how did you do it? Did you do it like just like I'm moving my hand right now? So now I should think that as I'm speaking, how should I move my hand? The way I'm moving my hand and the way I'm moving my facial features or whatever, how I'm trying to communicate how I can improve it. Uh, so every time I make a move, uh, I'm being recorded and then I rewatch it and then experts, I take someone who is better than me and then ask them how should I you know, communicate in this online forum and then uh, learn from that and next time uh, improve myself and then improve. This, this, is, this is what is deliberate practice. Every time you are, you are not just practicing, it is deliberate thing. So every time you make any mistake, you think about it to see how you can improve it. And anyone, 
in the world can become expert in anything they want if they spend 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. But anyways, let's let's come back to uh, the change agents. Uh, so what I was saying is that think about you know think about uh, um, some situations in your life where change agents help you in bringing any change or uh, or you are change agent. It can be the case where you are the you are the change agent. Yeah. So like like in our session, like uh, people are generally shy to open their open their open their mic and uh, say whatever they want to say. But Onila just did it. She other people are maybe not using the mic, but she just opened her mic. Although she just had a long work day, but still she said, "All right, let me." Give my two cents, and she opened the mic and she said what she had to say. This is she. She she is a change agent. Yeah, she's a change agent in that. So, so, but what what is happening that other people are not following that agency? She tried, but she could. She did that, but then other people did not really uh, are following that. Maybe because the size is very small, we are just twenty right now. But you would see where the size is 100 or something like that. If 100 people are here, it is just the first person. So first person say something and my experience is that someone else say something and then some people start saying if the number is large based on my experience. That is what I have seen. Yeah, so these are, this is change agents. So first, first step is all, all, always hard uh, because uh, first step is always hard. Uh, but then if if the change agent is influence, influential also and people respect it and they also say it to people that you know uh, um, do this and they tell them why it is important whatever it is then uh, it can it can start a, a momentum it has it depends on how how uh, these things which you mentioned, the honesty, reliability, all of these things, how much those things are present in the, the agent and uh, how much how much fire they have in the belly to bring the change. I think that is very important. Uh, how much how much uh, how much motivated they are to bring the change. Uh, if that that needs to be very high. Uh, only then these type of changes can happen. Otherwise, it's very. It can be very hard. Okay, so these were some things which which were coming to my mind as I was reflecting on the change. And uh, I hope you guys will also uh, try to share your thoughts. Uh, let us let us see what what are some of the main pointers which they have in the in the slides. Planning for change, yeah. As you are planning for change, looking for change agents, any support you can gather from organization or your community, depending on if you are thinking of about organizational change or individual individual change or trying to change someone else. Uh, have not you seen that you know you you want to you want you want some favor from from someone. Uh, this is a good example, I think. You want some favor from someone, but you don't ask them directly. Uh, you think about who are the people who is your target audience is going to listen to you. So maybe maybe you want to say something to your daddy, but maybe if if mommy say something to daddy, daddy is more likely to listen to what is being said. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you will instead of going to dad, you might want to go to mom, and then mom will say whatever you want. Tell you we want to party all night. So mom say let let them party. You know they have been they have been studying all the semester. So dad say all right, no problem. Something like that. Yeah. Why? But if you go straight to dad, dad it say no, no, no. That is not going to happen. Yeah. So what is that? That is change agent. So. A mummy in that situation is your agent. He's bringing the agency in the. In the yeah? So, planning. Whenever you are planning for change, you need to think about these things. Um, 
how you are going to approach and in that you would want to think about uh, change agents yeah it's not it's not hard it's very very simple and straightforward topic. Uh, so these type of things you're going to read like change agent is the facilitator of organizational change they collect data they educate they advise they meet facilitators they provide coaching other things like you know you guys mentioned that they inspire they are honest uh, they motivate if there are any challenges they, they try to uh, for force foresee them before the challenge is there and then they try to you know support the people these type of things change agent who are change agents depending on which situation is that anyone can be can be the can be the change change agent collaborative role yes of course they are going to you know uh, play the collaborative role uh, because maybe they are not uh, the sole owner of the change uh, maybe you are the owner of the change and they are helping you uh, mitigating the differences with the staff so in that they can play the collaborative role they can have facilitators role they can have negotiators role motivators role uh, you name it they can and also you know they, at this point also you have to be careful that who are these people like who is do they have any hidden agenda or something like that because two people might be doing the same thing but their motive and their motive can be different uh it is it is possible uh so i personally think and it is it is it is how i think you don't have to take that you can think the way you want i think it is we should not just just not look just look at the decision which is made at the end of the day we should look at why the person made that decision what is the what is the what is the reason whatever they are saying what is the reason for them to say why are they saying it you need to compare that reason with with your reason so let's say you you tell someone i love you i love you that is a very very nice to hear and people generally like it uh, we loved and it is a positive sentiment and all of that and other person also replies i love you so you need to so so the outcome is very good both people are telling a good thing to each other and you can replace it with any other thing whatever you can think of so the the outcome is good but why is the other person saying it you might want to think about that also generally people don't think about that but uh, i think that that is important that whatever the other person is saying of course you not going to distress other people someone is telling you a good thing you can't just you know <laughs> knock them out then say why you are why you are saying this or whatever uh, but uh, but i think it is important at some stage that you know the the reason whatever someone is saying why they are saying it don't just assume it try to go a little bit deeper so a change agent what i am trying to say is that they might be willing to help you and they might be uh they might be supporting the change which you want as a as a boss or colleague whatever it is but you want to understand if there is any hidden agenda or something else in their mind outside of the outside of the purpose which you have in your mind that is that is important to, to reflect on yeah. major change creates the vision you know for the for the change buy in we spoke about these things you know uh, motivating people building political support you know like you know uh, you are you are well respected you politics is part of uh, part of uh, any any organization some in some places it is it is very obvious in other places it is not very obvious uh, but politics is there and what is politics politics is uh, likability likability people like some people some groups in the workplace so when they like people uh, the people they like they kind of support them and they try to do the things which would help them and there would be some people they don't like for for some reason or another and they would not want to support it all of this is what 
is this is politics likability uh, in in simple words alliances forming alliances uh, finding the like minded people all of these activities would be would be uh, part of part of that yeah. uh, be straightforward nothing really to uh, worry about that uh, what they should know like uh, should should be good in building relationship no no company jargon that is interesting point uh, what is the meaning of specific words when they are spoken in in an organization uh, it is good to understand that essentially it is linked with it is linked with uh, communication which you guys have stressed a couple of times in the live interaction which we which we had uh, unpredictable outcome this is very interesting uh, be ready about that uh, forecasting and planning and all of those things you can you can think about and pay attention to these stage one consulting process uh, uh, stage stage two of consulting process contracting with the people yeah for example in that you you set up some some protocols like for example no out of pocket expenses ex expenses or, or information can be open or confidential how it should be should the information be open across departments or it should be confidential and you have to go through certain protocols and procedures uh, before you before you uh, sign up um, some 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 what i was i was listening to this uh, this documentary uh, it was a ted talk last night uh, it was uh, the guy who is the who is the owner of uh, netflix and uh, that was very interesting uh, very interesting uh, ted talk in that he was explaining how how they are using open information in their company they don't hide uh, their uh, their information with the workers although it can backfire sometimes uh, because that information can be leaked to the competition but overall the, the owner of netflix was explaining that overall the the benefits are uh, far far bigger uh, than the negatives for example he was saying that uh, the trust building improves because the workers uh, trust the company more because they have shared uh, this invaluable information with them. Uh, if you have time you should uh, run a google search and watch those type of those type of documentaries and stuff like that external change formal document yeah very important documentation uh, guard against out of pocket expenses uh, these type of things if it is if it is external change agent or as they are talking about in the next uh, internal change agent so let's talk quickly about this internal change agents would be coming from within the organization people who are already working in the organization and external can be some so for example people need to be motivated you bring some motivational speaker who does not work inside the organization you hire them from outside and they come and they give some talk and stuff like that uh, for consultant consulting purposes you can bring in someone from external uh, environment and then also think about positives and negatives of that if someone is coming from internal if someone is internal change agent then they know the people more because they they have been working with them uh, they must have some friends uh, they must have some good memories with people uh, they must have some respect trust reliability those type of things which you were talking about all of those things so internal people know if they are familiar familiar faces so familiar, familiarity is is very interesting concept in all of this because if they are familiar with, with someone we trust them a um, little, little more than and a stranger so imagine that you are standing alone and some person who is familiar comes near you you will not get surprised or something maybe you will also give them a hug or whatever but if some stranger comes and you are standing alone and they just come and stand close to you you will you will feel a little bit of nervousness generally speaking 
what is that that is that is you are not familiar with that so same is with the with this internal and external change agent so when you are bringing in the in the agency you need to think about it that are you going to find people from internal within the organization who are familiar with the practices and so on or you are going to find someone from outside the organization who are going to come and do the job whatever that job that can be consulting motivating improving documentation improving processes improving relationship anything like that or they can come as 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 new boss you must have seen that you know a new boss instead of uh being promoted from within the organization the new manager is hired from outside so when, when a person is hired from outside and they are new to organization yes they don't know the people but there can be some positive also because they can be very rational about their about their about their decisions in the sense that maybe rational is not the right word what i'm trying to say is that they they won't have the feeling they can make difficult decisions if i know you and it is hard for me to make a difficult decision like you know why did you not do this and why you did not do this and that type of thing yeah but if i don't know you and i don't know you so i can say those type of things to you so uh and vice versa uh so think about these things benefits and uh negatives of bringing internal change agents or finding people from outside uh, neither position is is wrong it depends on the nature and situation of the of the change uh, you can and and the culture of the organization i think that is very important if, if people don't like uh, generally in the organization that someone from outside comes and tell them something then external change agent is not going to work because generally people in that organization do not like outsiders to come and boss them or tell them do it like this they would they rather prefer their seniors in, within the organization to tell them yeah so you have to see the i think organizational culture very important to understand or not just organizational culture wherever you are trying to inculcate the change individual or organizational understanding the culture in other words how they do the things that is what the culture is how things are done in an environment is very important to understand that without spending time in understanding that and going into the change uh, process can be very lethal in fact it will backfire and uh, it will sabotage the 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 change uh, change uh, initiative these are the things which they are talking about here is a clip youtube clip you can watch it in your own time and try to link it with what we have been are uh, trying to discuss or talk about key competencies of change management agent we spoke about this a while while ago trustworthiness facilitation communication this is very very interesting and beautiful uh, love of love of learning very very good point love of learning so so they if they should be like one friend was saying that flexibility so a person who has love of learning they have higher chance to be flexible because they want to learn new things they are open to new ideas they don't think that they know it all that type of personality as a change agent is 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 going to help but here is a here is a dilemma in this on one hand we say that flexibility is important uh, but on the other hand we also want to say that assertiveness is also important like if you are if you are going to change whatever you say and be flexible then people are not not going to command that leadership type of role well you can but but it's a it's a mix and match type of situation like you, you have to you, you have to be you have to ensure that you are respected when you uh, say people something they do it and on the other hand you need to listen to them and be flexible also this is and then again all of this is linked with uh, with the 
with the leader because leaders are going to decide who are going to be their change agent who are the people who are going to bring the agency who are going to uh, take their agenda forward in terms of in terms of change so you need to really uh, think about that coaching discipline yes uh, very interesting uh, this this is uh, i would like to highlight this self knowledge self knowledge as i think i have said couple of times earlier especially in the live discussion but let me say it again because i think it is important uh, self knowledge try to learn about yourself uh, that would help you in managing any type of situation a uh, particularly change situation your likes your dislikes how you behave what angers you what frustrates you on a deeper level yes we do have uh, understanding on on a on a surface level but deep down like psychologically on a subconscious level uh, try to reflect on those things mindfulness is one of the techniques uh, please run a google search on mindfulness uh, try to find some exercises on mindfulness and uh, on uh, on google just run a google search mindfulness exercises which i can practice uh, before i sleep yeah? are simple exercises and you can you can maybe tonight before you go to bed or early in the morning uh, based on what you prefer you should run those type of exercises and see what is what is what uh key factors for successful change we have spoken about these things every now and then aligned workforce for example what is what do we mean by aligned workforce so workforce is aligned when uh, when they have the same when they buy in your change when they have same type of agenda when they have same type of aspirations uh, skills and uh, skill set and motivations then they are aligned towards your your objective as a matter of fact it is not just your objective now it is it is shared value shared value uh, that is a key concept in overall in, organi uh, in organizational management or just management shared value so as a as a boss or wherever you are you want to find uh, find uh, areas where you agree in any type of negotiation and uh, similarities uh, no matter what you are thinking about you are thinking about making friends or you are thinking about anything you always look for what are the similarities and then of course diversity is also good you want uh, opposite attracts they say they say opposite attracts but they also say that uh, birds of birds of a feather fly together something like that So these are these are some dilemmas also in uh, management conversations. Yeah, so this is this is what uh, I think is uh, is a good starting conversation for change agents. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you have any any thoughts? Any, any comments? For example, in all of this, committed leadership is going to be extremely important. How committed the leader is in terms of in terms of giving encouragement if things go wrong how supportive they are uh, to, to let people have a second try a third try what is the overall culture of the organization the resources a uh, company has resources or not uh, change uh, change exercises are also very expensive uh, because you uh, you try to bring in new way of doing things which which many times cost you money in terms of uh, putting new new areas and stuff like that maybe hiring new people with new skill set uh, you can think about that and if it does not go the way you thought it will on a piece of paper and you are starting the chain but as you go in the process you learn that it is not is not that easy or this is maybe not something which you wanted to do these things can happen and try to reflect it in in like you know try to reflect with the examples which you can relate with uh, i am talking about things which i can relate with but you need to think about examples let me let me think about something for you uh, for example you know when we when we go in undergraduate we come from school and we go to you come to university and we go in undergrad and people would 
go in in a faculty and go in the program but after one year they learn that this program is not for them and they drop from it and then they go into the next one yeah what 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 has happened they have brought that change to um, be, from becoming trying to become a doctor to now they are focused in social science or they want to become a lawyer now or whatever it, this is the, they have brought that change they have shifted to the other 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 faculty or department but there is a cost to that the year is lost uh, some money is lost uh, the friends they had now they are one year uh, senior to them in studies they will graduate a year later all of those things are cost uh, but of course you can think about some positives also but the point i was making is change can be hard uh, can be expensive yes you did have you did get the experience uh, but uh, uh, if you had made the right move in when you were joining the university and go in the right faculty then you might have been better off at least on paper but life is very very dynamic so uh, we don't know the outcome of the of the of the decisions which we are taking taking now uh, the outcome outcome comes after after years and uh, sometimes um, very late think about all these things aligned the work force and stuff like that and, and this this is very interesting sustain the change sustaining the change uh, again you can link it with various models which you guys have been looking in the book especially uh, because the tendency in change is that many times people go back to the the past behavior so sustaining the change is 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 very important you don't want people to go back to the status quo so for that uh yeah they are giving a tip to constant monitoring and improvements yeah constant monitoring uh, but you need to ensure that yes you are doing constant uh, monitoring but you don't want to uh, eliminate uh, people or you know uh, checking them all the time and uh, they can get annoyed or writing them emails all the time and they can get annoyed and stuff like that because change is already hard for them and now you are trying to ensure that it is sustained and in that also some some problems can happen uh, yes these were some points uh, or change agent uh, i think that is that is good enough uh, thank you very much